Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, uh, we will uh, discuss another uh, lesson in general mathematics, solving exponential equation. Okay, so we have four examples. Try nyo po munang sagutan bago panoodin na resolution. Okay, post nyo muna. Try to answer. Okay, so let's start with number one. So 6 raised to 2x plus 1 equals 6 raised to 3x minus 2. Find the value of x. So yung number one example natin, ito yung pinakamadali, titignan lang natin ang base natin. So pag susolve ng uh, exponential uh, equation, so ang gagawin lang natin, titignan natin yung base ng left and right side. Kapag parehas sila, kapag parehas ng base, all we have to do is equate the exponent. So if we have a raised to x equals a raised to y, so we simply equate the exponent or we can cancel the base, so therefore we have x is equal to y. Okay, since the base are both 6, so we can uh, just equate the exponent. So we have 2x plus 1 equals 3x minus 2, then solve for x. So solve for x, so we have 2x and 3x so right side. So dadali natin dun sa mas mataas na positive. So 2x and 3x, so we, had, we need to subtract 2x to both sides. So that the answer will be positive. If, because if we subtract 3x to both sides, so the answer will be negative, baka ma-confuse pa. So kaya mas maganda, itong 2x ang dadali natin sa kabilang side kung ano yung mas maliit. Okay, so cancel na to. So we have 1 is equal to 3x minus 2x. So that will give us 1x or simply x minus 2. And then put the negative 2 to the other side. So to do that, we need to add positive 2, the opposite ng sign niya. Okay, so negative 2 plus 2, this will become 0. So therefore, x is equal to 1 plus 2, x is equal to 3. So for checking, uh, just substitute the value of the 3 for every x in the left and right side. So if we substitute 3 to this, so we have 2 times 3, that will be 6 plus 1. So we have 6 raised to 7. And then for the right side, so 3 times x, so the x is 3. 3 times 3 is 9 minus 2, so 6 uh, raised to 7 pa rin. Okay, so next number, number 2. 4 raised to 3x plus 2 equals 128. So this time, magkaiba na yung base natin. So we have 4 and then 128. So pag magkaiba ng base, iisipin natin uh, ng way para maging magkaparehas yung base natin. So yung 128, hindi siya power ng 4. Kasi mga powers ng 4, di ba? We have 4 times 4, 16 times 4, 64 times 4, 256. So medyo malayo na. So hindi, hindi pwedeng powers of 4. So ang gagamitin natin ay powers ng 2. So, ano yung pang powers ng 2? 2 times 2, we have 4. Times 2, we have 8. Times 2, we have 16. Times 2, we have 32. Times 2 is 64. And then times 2 again, we have 128. Okay, so parehas nag-appear yung 4 and then 128. So, therefore, 4, we will express this as power of 2. So, that will become 2 square. And then let's write the exponent 3x plus 2. And then for the 128, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 128 is equal to 2 raised to the 7th power. So now, meron na tayong parehas 2, pero may exponent pa itong 2, 2 square natin. Sa left side, may square pa. So ang gagamitin natin dyan, so meron tayong property, low exponent, a to the m raised to, raised to the nth power, that is simply equal to a raised to m times n. So i-multiply lang natin ito. So yung 2, pwede natin ilagay dito sa, i-multiply dito sa 3x plus 2. So therefore, we have 2 and then raised to 2 times 3x plus 2 para magkaparehas na yung base natin. Then sa left, right side 2 to the 7 power. So ngayon, pwede na natin i-cancel kasi parehas na siyang 2 na lang. So cancel lang natin yung 2, then equate natin yung exponent. So we have 2 times 3x plus 2 equals 7. Then just solve for x. Since meron tayong 2 dito, i-distribute muna natin yung, 3x, yung 2 sa 3x and then sa positive 2. 2 times 3x, we have 6x. 2 times positive 2, we have positive 4 equals 7. Solve for x, kailangan x ang matira lang dito sa left side. So tanggalin natin si 4, ilipat sa kabila by subtracting 4 to both sides. So subtract 4 to both sides, cancel na to. We have 6x is equal to 7 minus 4, we have 3. And then final answer, divide both sides by divide both sides by 6. 
Okay, and then just reduce to lowest term. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 3 over 6. They are both divisible by 3. Divide both by 3. So therefore, the final answer is 1 half. Okay, so for checking, you, you, you can just uh, substitute uh, 1 half for this uh, x. Okay, so next number, number 3. So 5 raised to x squared plus 2x equals 1 fifth. So meron tayong 5 sa... Base natin sa, fa, sa left side ay 5. Ang base naman natin sa right side ay 1 fifth. So, kailangan gawin natin, gawa natin ng way para magkaparehas sila. Kailangan 5 lang. Magkaiba yung 5 tsaka 1 fifth. So, itong, itong 5 meron itong exponent na 1. Pero dahil nasa denominator siya, kailangan dalhin natin sa numerator. Kasi yung 5 natin sa left side ay nasa numerator siya. So, itong isa nasa denominator. Kailangan parehas nasa, nasa taas. So, gagamitin natin ito ng um, negative exponent rule. So, we have negative exponent rule 1 over x to the n. That's simply equal to x raised to negative n. So, pag nasa baba, tataas lang siya tapos magiging na siyang negative. So, apply natin dito yon So, we have 5 raised to x squared plus 2x equals. So, 1 pip that is equal to 5 raised to negative 1. So, ngayon parehas na ang parehas ng ating uh, base, parehas ng 5. So, i-cancel na lang natin yan and then equate the exponent. So, we have x squared plus 2x equals negative 1. So, meron tayo ngayon quadratic equation. So, quadratic equation. So, kailangan 0 yung right side. Add tayo ng 1 sa both sides. Or simply transpose negative 1. Pag napunta siya sa left side, magiging siyang opposite ng sign. Negative 1 magiging positive 1 equal 0. So kung mapapansin natin, ang x squared plus 2x plus 1, ito ay perfect square trinomial. So pwede natin gamitin dyan yung uh, perfect square trinomial. We have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared equal yan sa square root nito, a squared, and then square root ng b squared. So we have a plus b squared. Okay? Kasi ang square root ng x squared ay square root ng x squared ay x, square root ng 1 ay 1, tapos yung middle term natin, 2ab. So, x times 1, that is 1, x times 2, ayun, eksakto, pas 2x. So, therefore, perfect square trinomial ito. So, ang factor lang niya is x plus 1 squared equals 0. Okay, so now we, uh, we can take the square root of both sides. So, therefore, extract the square root ng both sides natin. So, we have Cancel the square and the square root. So therefore, we have x plus 1 equals plus or minus 0. So 0 pa rin yun. So wag na natin ilagay yung plus or minus. So, dahil wala namang sign ng 0. And then last step. So just solve for x. So add, uh, subtract 1 to both sides. So final answer is x equals negative 1. So when we substitute negative 1 to this, ang magiging sagot dyan ay negative 1. So try natin dito. I-substitute yung negative 1. Dito sa exponent natin, so magiging siyang negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1. So that the answer will be negative 1 times negative 1, positive 1, plus 2 times negative 1, so minus 2. So the answer is negative 1. So same dito, we have 1 raised to 1 over 5, that is 5 raised to negative 1. So ayun, parehas na silang negative 1. Okay, so last number, number 4. So 1 over 81 raised to 2x plus 3 equals 27 raised to 5x plus 1 over 3. So tingnan natin ang base, 1 over 81 tsaka 27. So ano bang, uh, ano yung pwedeng maging base natin dito? Power ba siya ng, so 81 and 27, powers of 3 ang gagamitin natin. So kailangan alam nyo yung mga exponent dapat ng mga numbers na makikita nyo. So because yung 3, so 3 times 3, we have 9 times 3, 27 times 3 is 81. Okay, so makikita natin parehas yung 81 and then 27 sa powers of 3. So nasa denominator yung 81, so therefore, that, uh, palitan natin yung 81 ng 1 over 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is x equal to 3 to the 4th. Okay, raised to 2x plus 3. And then 27, magiging siyang uh, 3, 9, 27. So that 27 is equal to 3 to the third power. And then just copy the exponent. So we have 
times 5x plus 1 over 3. So, over ito. So, lagay na natin dito, over 3. Okay, and then 1 over 3 to the 4th. Gagamitin natin ng negative exponent rule ito dahil nasa baba. So, pag nasa baba, tataas siya, tapos magiging na siyang negative. So, this is 1 over 3 to the 4th is equal to 3 to the negative 4. And then, multiply natin yung exponent natin na 2x plus 3. And then, for the for the right side, kung mapapansin nyo, may 3 tayo dito, may 3 din dito sa exponent natin, sa denominator. So, cancel out na lang ito. Ang natira na lang ay 5x plus 1. Okay, so parehas ng 3 ang ating base. So pwede na natin i-cancel yan and then equate the exponent. So we have negative 4 times 2x plus 3 equals 5x plus 1. So just solve for x. So distribute the negative 4 to 2x and then positive 3. Negative 4 times 2x, we have negative 8x. Negative 4 times positive 3, that is equal to negative 12 equals 5x plus 1. So, solve for x. So, we have negative 8x sa left and then 5x sa right. Kailangan dadalhin natin lagi doon sa mas malaki. Mas malaki si 5x. So, si negative 8x, lipat natin sa kabila. So, just add 8x to both sides para maging 0 yan. Add 8x to both sides. So, cancel na to. We have negative 12 equals 5x plus 8x. We have 13x plus 1. So, si positive 1, dalhin sa kabilang side. So, dito na natin na... Uh, ilagay negative 12 equals 13x plus 1. So, tanggalin si, si positive 1. So, subtract 1 to both sides. Cancel na to. 0 na yan. 12 my, negative 12 minus 1. That will be negative 13 equals 13x. So, last step. Divide both sides by the coefficient of x which is 13. So, therefore, the final answer x is equal to negative 13 divided by 13. x is equal to 1. So, if we substitute uh, 1 to the value to the x in the left side and right side magiging equal yung ating uh, dalawang number. Okay, so that's it. So I hope na gusto niyo explanation ko para sa solving uh, exponential equation. So thank you for watching and then kung meron po kayong math question ay i-comment lang po dito sa aking channel. Pwede rin sa aking FB group or i-DM niyo ako sa aking messenger na RJ Ensenyado. Okay? So bye-bye and God bless.